I've had a couple of people ask that I show you my pantry that I made. Um, I, I'll show you. Um, when we moved in, and I showed this on the organized cheap life tag, we had this, um, you know, door here, right? Not a very wide door. I mean, this is like from my elbow to my fingertips, and I don't have, you know, freakishly long arms or anything. So, pretty thin door. Now, when we moved in, all we had was this. Turn on the lights so you can see this shelf down here, right? Um, with a big leftover dog food bag, which was awesome. And then this shelf up here. <clears throat> and then all this really is, is an entrance to our attic. So I needed to build a pantry and I needed something that I could remove if I needed to have someone go up into the attic. We don't store anything up there. Um, it would just be for like maintenance purposes. So this is what I ended up doing. Um, on the door and on the wall, you can see I have these um, little kind of wire shelves, more like baskets, I suppose. And then this grill thing back here, you can see it a little bit better here, that attaches. This is from the container store. Um, I will link this particular item below. This is actually four. Um, four of these little kind of hanger guys. And I have two in there, one there and one in the back. And then these baskets all came separately too. So I just kind of, Put this together thinking I need some place to store my spices. Um, I need something for just smaller items, things like honey, you know, gelatin, whatever. Um, lots of different things up there. I'm gonna try and open this a little bit more so you can see. Back here, I keep my paper towel, or not my paper towels, my um, storage bags. And here I have my little leggings for my flaxseed hair gel, you know, that whole thing. Some uh, corn pasta, things like that. I'm um, just kind of dry staple goods up here. And this worked out well because I could still, I needed to have it hung up high enough so I could reach my little light, right? And I wanted to fill this space on the wall because there's a good, you know, probably four inches back here. So I wanted to have something on the wall here. And I wanted to have something on the door because this was all wasted space as well. Um, but unfortunately, I couldn't go any lower than the doorknob because of this part right here. And I can't get rid of this because this is right over top of the uh, stairwell that goes down to the basement. So this is where the stairs fit. So unfortunately, I couldn't <laughs> get rid of this. So this is kind of here. So guys, seriously, you should have seen me. I was like literally in here, like crawled in here, installing this on the wall. I don't know if I can show you. Yeah, I can. Um, they attach with these little, plastic guys here that are screwed into the wall and then it just rests in there. So I've got um, I think one in each corner and so I was in here just like screwing these in the wall. It was fantastic and rather funny to watch. Um, but these different baskets, they have all different shapes and sizes. See this one's kind of flatter so I can slide thin things in there. A little bit taller, more open. Um, so there's lots of different options. Here's a real tall one too. Um, baskets and if I want you know I can just take them out and see they just come right out because they just attach with these little hooks um, so container store they're a little expensive but I needed to you know have something that could be removed if I needed to all right so then other things that I got uh, this is actually just a magazine rack that I turned on its side and then I've got my plastic wrap my aluminum foil and my parchment paper in here I've got a couple lazy Susans um, these were both from the container store as well, and uh, this one has oils, vinegars, things like that. I have baking supplies back there, brown sugars and that type of thing. Got some um, ginger egg, ginger ale back there too, just kind of on this shelf. Um, it's not easy to get to anything in the back, unfortunately. That's why I have the Lazy Susan so I can just reach in, grab what is I need, and then take it. And I put the baking stuff back there because I don't really use a whole lot of sugar all that often, um, so that's why that's back there. I use oils way more often. All right, so then I also have this um, little shelf unit that I also got from the container store for my canned goods. So I've got coconut milk and pumpkin and some soups, things like that. And then these right here are um, four drawers that they all come separately. I think they were... These are from Bed Bath & Beyond, that's where I got these. And um, they have two sides to the drawers. It has a little divider thing, you can take this out, so it can just be one big drawer. 
Um, but in here, you know, I've got things like rice, I've got snack items, um, nut flowers, almond flour, cashew flour, coconut flour. And then down here, um, some brown rice pastas. And then over on this side, some marinara sauce, some extra uh, almond flour, things like that. And of course, my big old trash bags. And then any type of snack items that I have, I generally put here. And the door, even if there's something here, you know, it'll still shut. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> So anyway, sometimes you just have to be creative. I mean, it works for me. It's not the most ideal situation. I would have loved to have a pantry with built-ins and you know, all that fancy stuff, but we had to, um, you know, be practical. If we need to get up in the attic, we couldn't have built-in shelves. So all these things come off, all this stuff can come out, this can come off the door, and uh, somebody can get up to the attic without any problem. And it makes use of lots of wasted space that I couldn't reach otherwise. So, all right guys, I hope that gives you some ideas. If you need to build a pantry from scratch, check out the Container Store and check out Bed Bath & Beyond. They have lots of different options that you can do. Some are a little more expensive than others, but sometimes you kind of need to spend the money in order to make something functional. All right guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye!